Hello everyone and welcome back. Thought I would do a very quick video here, just a garden update. I feel like I'm falling behind. Uh, I should have had one of these posted last week. Would have been the two week mark, I think. But I, we had backwards cabin stuff going. I've got another, uh, did a bunch of tent remodel stuff, everything like that. So it's gonna run through, give you a quick video on the garden, show you the pigs. We're gonna do a meat rabbit update. Haven't done one of them for a while. So uh, let's get started. All right, everybody, well, the pigs have uh, moved in, and uh, <laughs> they all have their own little personality, so they're doing pretty good. They seem to be eating their food well, and they are digging like crazy. It's weird. They love broccoli. The broccoli plants, they love turnips. You always hear that they like turnips. They'll eat the greens. They don't much care for the turnips. Zucchini, they just eat that stuff right up. So um, they're doing good. All right, so on the garden here, it's doing really good. I mean, look at this. I can't eat them all. Look at the size of some of these cucumbers are just huge. Uh, I've been eating as many as I can. I've uh, ate green peppers out of here, eggplant now. That's doing good. Zucchinis, like I said, I fed one real big one to the pigs. Uh, my mom was over, I gave some to her. Um, they're growing. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, all that is cauliflower that you're looking at down there. Nothing has come up there yet, but that won't be too long. This is purple cabbage. I mean, that's going crazy. It's starting to make the heads. Oh, I'm gonna get wet. All right, so the beans are going crazy. I just put nine trays in the Excalibur dehydrator of beans, and I picked roughly three feet of the two rows. I've got, what, 28 feet, so I've got a lot of beans. Uh, right there in the center, those was my experiment for this year, and those are um, red beans, pinto beans, and black beans and they have just really surprised me. I mean, that's a three foot high fence and I think it could have been eight feet high and they would have went to the top. Nice thing about that is I get to let them do their whole entire cycle, dry in the pod right there until it's black and they shake inside and then I can harvest those and just dry and, you know, they'll be dry and I can save them. The potatoes here, now my Pontiac Reds, which are these over here and the first row on that side, those are getting at the end of their cycle right now. You can see the plants are dying off. It's going to be, I don't know, maybe two weeks, and I'm going to be picking all or, you know, digging all those up, seeing what I got. Um, over here I've got uh, my russets and uh, my yukons, and the russets are still growing really well, and uh, you can see that the yukons now are starting to get that sickly look, so I'd say another three or four weeks, and I'll be pulling those out of the ground too. Over there we have the onions. What was it, 275 sets? Uh, unlike last year, this year I've been picking some and using them, which is nice because I had way too many onions last year. So, and they're starting to fall over now, and you guys remember the onion video and how they work, so it won't be too long, and I'll be pushing them over, and we'll be harvesting those too. My popcorn was definitely knee-high by the 4th. Um, right now it's chest, maybe my chin height, so it's doing good. That fence right there, that's all peas right there, snow peas. I like the pea pods and stuff like that, and probably the best harvest. I did them last year too, didn't, didn't get quite as many, but now I just had a stir fry last night. Uh, there's just hundreds, hundreds, thousands, I don't know, there's a lot of them. Way over there is the herb garden, that needs to be weeded, but to be honest, it's all going crazy. The mint, like everybody said, it will start to spread, and it is, so I, I think that the weeds kind of keeping it down is helping me. <laughs> The sunflowers, I don't think I have any sunflowers now that are not over the top of my head. So my tomato plants, which are right there next to those beans, they're doing really good. I've got a lot of tomatoes, but one thing I didn't know, like I said, the uh, beans were an experiment. I didn't realize that they would grow so tall as that, and what they do is they block out the sunlight. So I, although I have hundreds of tomatoes on there, I'm not going to get the yield out of per plant that I got last year. I can tell that already. So, but still, I don't use a lot of tomatoes, so I'm going to can some up. I just love growing them. My daughter Sarah, she loves them. We can them. She uses them, so they'll still be plenty. But um, I kind of screwed myself on that one by planting those beans. It creates a wall so that the sun doesn't get to them until probably 11 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, so I don't have any pumpkins started yet. I do have. Uh, watermelons that are growing, uh, musk melons that are growing, some other kind of melon. <laughs> there is um, 
yellow squash, like I said, the zucchini, everything is doing good. Carrots are doing good. Beets are doing good. Turnips, they're huge. I ate them. I don't like them. Uh, I gave some to my mom because she uses them, so they're, like I showed you before, they're just for the pigs now. I don't much care for those. So anyway, okra, that's starting. That's about takes care of the whole entire garden, or this video is going to be way too long. Okay, everybody, now we're into the rabbit barn, the old meat rabbits. If you remember, this one here had four, and now they almost, it's time actually to separate them from mom. And I need to check them so you see what sex they are. I know there are a couple people that are interested in buying some of these. So I'm going to do that probably this weekend because I will be home, but those four are doing great. Okay, so this is my other doe. She's the one that uh, the litter this spring. Or early summer whenever it was uh, either she killed them off or something got in there and killed them off and I didn't know so she had one more chance here or else she was gonna end up in the freezer or whatever and uh, I did not bother these little ones at all I just let her have them in case it was human air and I touched them too soon but this is the first day now there were two out this morning now there's three little ones right here we're gonna take a closer look at these in a minute and in here now where did you go? I just saw you, you little... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, way back there. There, we have one more. I think I'm not going to handle these much. I'll just show you guys right here because you can tell that they're this is like the first day they've been on wire. They're not hopping around too much. Anyway, she had four. The other one had four. I had litters as big as nine last year, so I'm not looking for that many this year, so I'll have to see. I'll probably breed them one more time. I'll see what happens with these, but uh, the meat rabbits are doing great. I simply have a lot of meat in the freezer from last year. That's why I'm not breeding them so much. I popped them back in the nest box for now so they can feel a little more comfortable. Sorry, Mr. Buck, I forgot to get you on camera. He's bouncing around like a little kid because he knows he's going to get some green grass coming up here. Thought I'd run you through the strawberry patch. Remember last year we had, what, was it 10 plants or whatever? We ended up with 106 this year. We've got well over 300 strawberries out of this patch and it's still flowering, still producing strawberries but now it started to run and I'm letting these runners go so then they can uh, they'll re-root and I'm gonna dig those up and if 10 plants gave me 106 I can't imagine what 106 plants will give me for next year okay everybody well thanks a lot for watching I know this is kind of a quick update video but at least everybody now is kind of up to speed on what's going on it's definitely starting to be harvest time in the garden and I will see you guys on the next video